Hi everyone, this is Meg at Chasing Retro. I hope you guys are all doing well today. I have two things to share that I received from two very sweet people this week. The first is a bag of craft supplies that was given to me by someone that works with my husband whose mom is also a crafter. And I think she found out that I make junk journals and obviously she knows what that is, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. And she sent me through her daughter some items to use in my journals. So I will open that one first. And then the next one is some Happy Mail that I received from Carrie the Paper Monkey. Thank you so much, Carrie, for this box of cheer that showed up on my doorstep. I look forward to opening that also. All right, let me grab this little bag. It's a cute little zipper pouch. Okay, first we have a rubber stamp that has glasses, cat eye glasses that look really a lot like mine that I do wear. <laughs> Love that. I'm excited to use that. Cute little bag. Looks like some wood cutouts maybe. It's a glassine bag, so you know I'll be saving this also. Let's see if I can get this sticker off. Oh yeah, they're like little windows. That is adorable. That's awesome. We have a little box of stickers. Yep, stickers. Uh, let's see what they are. It doesn't say on the outside. Oh, these are cute. They're like little pattern paper looking. That one says thank you. I can use these for ha um, orders, putting on my orders. Maybe it's cold outside. For you. That'd be a cute Happy Meal sticker. <laughs> I love the hexagons, that's unique. Little label sticker for you. Do what you do. Love. Cute. That's a cute one. For you. Another for you. Those are so cute. I love you. Awesome. I think I'll keep them in this little box though because I usually just throw all my stickers in my sticker drawer, but these are tiny and they'll get lost. Okay. We have some Bulldog clips and some be in a beautiful gold. Always can use more of these. We have some washi tape. We have like a lime green. I don't have this color. Look at the squirrels with the acorns. How cute. And this is like wood grain. Precious. Oh yeah, look. These are called dots, I think. I love using these. I use them for the very first time in um, Oh my goodness, the giraffe journals. <laughs> the word just left me. I love those colors. Oh, here's more. They look like candy dots to me. Ooh, these are labels. Another glassing envelope. I mean bag. <laughs> these are cool. I don't have any gold trimmed labels. Love those. I have a little box of labels. I can put that in. Looks like we have some vintage photographs. Look at that hair. That is amazing. And the corsages. I wonder if this is a wedding. It must be the same from the same group. 
Okay, we have, I don't know why I'm pulling from the bottom, but I am. We have some papers, it looks like. Let's see, this one's called, here we go. Ooh, look at this. This brand, I don't know, I feel like I've seen this artist. If y'all know what this is, let me know. <laughs> Yell it out <laughs> so I can hear you. $14.92. This doesn't look anything like the brochure. <laughs> That's funny. Silhouette Masterpiece Theater. Awkward Americana. That's funny. That's unique. This is cool. It's like a index card, but it's a tiny graph. And this is so cute. I think I've seen this pattern before, the little swimmers. This is a six by nine pad. Studio Calico. Oh, they're number stencils. Or letters, I'm not sure. Look, how adorable. Hey, they're numbers. Oh, I love those. I always forget to use, st like, put stencils in as ephemera pieces. I have some. I just don't. The box is kind of hidden back there in my shelf. These are cool. This one has dots. Lime green tag. Look at this. Oh, how neat. That is so creative. Oh, my goodness. I love that. That's cool. Black tag. I could stamp white on that. Look how cute he is. And she. <laughs> These are like notebook papers and ledger papers. Oh, it's like calendar type cards. More old pictures. That looks like a beauty pageant at school, maybe. And then some uh, book, belongs to book labels, um, book plates. That's the word I'm looking for. They're embossed. That looks like a muskrat. Something India. I bet it's a muskrat. That feels really old. Look at this. It's a block print of owls. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. You'll do. <laughs> Studio Calico. I wonder what Studio Calico is. Maybe it's a scrapbook of the month club. Inspiration delivered. Yeah, it must be some sort of mail order club. That's neat. Some hexagon uh, glitter or confetti or whatever in copper. That's neat. Little coin envelope, like a craft paper envelope. Oh, another one. This looks like vellum sticker. That's what I think this is. Translucent. I think it's a sticker, but that's beautiful. And then some labels. These also feel very vellum-y. birthday cards. Those are cool. I like the lettering. Little buttons. I love the colors. And we have some um, silver foil hearts. An embossed look die cut. Beautiful. Hello. Happy. I was trying to read. I was like, what does that say? Happy and numbers. These are so fun. And an adorable puffy sticker of a cat. And two pencils. I am alone read and wishes and whimsy. Those are pretty. What a little 
fun bag of treats. That was such a surprise. Thank y'all for that. That was awesome. If you're watching, I don't even know if you watch my channel, but I'll pass the thank you along through my husband as well. <laughs> okay, let me get the box of things from Carrie. Here it is. I wish I could show you the other side because she decorated it so cute, but I don't have the addresses covered up, so... I'm just going to start a stack here so I don't have to keep reaching down. But my goodness, it is um, lots of fun things I'm seeing. Okay. That's part of what she put on the cover. A little bulletin board thing. Decor border. Okay, almost got it all. Carrie, my goodness. What in the world, girl? This all looks amazing. Here's the card, and there's something in here. Oh, she put some, some of these round playing cards in here that I love. I saw when you hauled these. The colors are amazing. And then we have some dry cleaner tickets and little reproduct. These must be the Tim Holtz photos. I don't have any of their, his stuff like this. I love that. Isn't that so picturesque? Carrie, you're the best. Spoiling me. We have a little bag of, these look like Timu bags. I reuse these too. That, they're just the best for putting little things in. If I can get it open. I'm trying to grow my nails out. And I feel like right now I can't, I'm, I can do less than I did without fingernails. I guess it'll take some getting used to. Oh my goodness, these are stunning. I love that amber colored crystal. These are super retro and fun. Ladybug. How cute is that bead? Daisies. Oh yeah, these will be for my daisy journals. Yay. And some wooden beads. These are fun. I'm gonna put these in my dangle pile. Let's go in my dangle box. She has sent some mini Uno cards. Look how cute. Uno Go. I remember the first time I learned how to play Uno. I was about five. It was on a beach trip with my church. Those are so cute. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I know you've been making these pants. Did you make this for me? <coughs> so sorry. I had to cough. Oh my goodness. Look how adorable this is. It's the, t it's the kind that you turn to click. And I love this. It's like animal print. What is the topper made of? You'll have to... Sh have you done a tutorial on these yet? Because I'm super curious. I think these would be really fun birthday gifts. To, for friends and family. We're to tie on top of a birthday present. And this. This is also fun. This is like super retro right up my alley. I love that. Love it. I'm putting this in my purse. Okay. She sent some books. These look like commentaries or um, Bible book study books. Hugh Peterson, John Hill, Herschel Hobbs. I've heard of Herschel Hobbs. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I have two of these. Fun. I may have to share one with my dad. 
Look at this. Nineteen fifty four Southern Baptist Convention. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to share a picture of these with my cousin. He is um big on the Southern Baptist Convention history and some of the old greats who wrote books for their ministry. I love that there's notes in here too. Does this say the same thing inside? It's the same library, but maybe a different person who used it. Maybe he had, maybe he led a study in his church and had a copy for everybody. That's my guess. And then Mark. And John. I love this. Yeah, they all have different names. So I bet it was like a church library that he loaned out to his church members, and I love the writing throughout. This is awesome. Thank you, Carrie. These are amazing, and I love the color, too. One of those may have to be a journal. I'm keeping one of, I'm keeping, I'm keeping the Hebrews one, but one of them may have to be a journal. Okay, she sent me a beautiful font right here. I just want to point out this font. Love it. I have a font on my computer that's very similar to this, and I love the coral with the red. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Look at this. A kitten. I love new kittens. I haven't seen one this little in many years, um, but my goodness, I... That's when they're the cutest, I think, when they have a very, very round face and their ears are still round. They're not pointed yet. Oh, my goodness. They're so helpless when their eyes are closed. And then we have this. These are postcards with botanicals on them. Those are lovely. And a reading list. This is cool. You can... This is like... So, I used to do book journaling or like, you know, I would journal about books that I read. I don't read that much anymore. If I do read, it's an audio book. But, um, yeah, I still have my book journal behind me. I might add this to that in case I ever decide to start reading novels again. This is Broadman Press, which I think is also Baptist. They make the hymnals, so I'm assuming. This is beautiful. I will, I will use these. Uh, oh, I will use these pages and images and also the book itself I think would make a fabulous junk journal cover that is just so cute thank you Carrie and it looks like she oh I have a letter it was hiding let me read it real fast <laughs> thank you so much Carrie she sent me she sent me happy mail to thank me for the happy mail that I sent her. <laughs> so now I have to send you more. You realize that, right, Carrie? <laughs> she made a cinch bound notebook for me. Snow White and it's got one of her fabric clusters on it. I love this. The inside has a full page envelope and a beautiful pattern paper. And this is, oh, you vary the type of paper you used. We have some notebook loose leaf, and then we have a divider, and then we have some graph, personal favorite, and a divider and loose leaf, and another divider and loose leaf. I love this. Thank you, Carrie. I will enjoy using this. And last but not least, fabric and trim on my word. Look at this. Colorful, beautiful. Oh my goodness, that is so fun. Love the colors in here. This is 70s all the way. And this is unique. It's like two ribbons in one. And then this, I adore hot pink and orange together. 
my daughter and I go back and forth about this all the time. She thinks this is ugly. I think this color combo is the most fun. <laughs> and then we have some Ivory Eyelet. Oh my goodness, I love it. I have a lot of white, but hardly any ivory, so this is awesome. And then she's wrapped it with this piece. It's like a paisley with some dials and flowers. I love that. It's kind of a raspberry pink print on kind of a muslin, kind of muslin feeling material. And then here's some classic cars. Oh my word, look at the little beach. I call these beach buggies. I know they're not a beach buggy, but it just needs a surfboard on top, you know? And of course you've got the Volkswagen and that looks like maybe a Mustang. And my favorite yellow bug, if I, if I could pick, if, okay. So I'm a big car person. Many of y'all may not know that. I'm not, I don't know about the cylinders and the horses and all that stuff, but I do geek out on makers and models and years and I go to car shows. I just love it. My two dream cars. Number one is a Volkswagen Bug in bright yellow. And number two is a white MG convertible, preferably 67 to 68. Those are my dream cars. <laughs> I know they will always be in the shop if I were to ever buy one, but I can talk about it at least and, and make things with pictures of them like this. I will have to put this in a personal journal. Thank you, Carrie. This looks like Retro Kitchen. How fun. The colors are perfect. I just love this. This is enough to make a journal with. Um, I love making journals with boxes for muffin mix. I've also started been been started been. I've also been saving boxes from Aldi. We like their rice pilafs and their couscous. So I've been saving those boxes and they're a very unique size and I think I might make a series of fabric cover journals using those. This would be perfect for one of those. Love it. This is a beautiful calico with some tulips it looks like and a country blue. And then we have some laces, white daisy. This will go in my I'm going to call these daisies. I think they are. I'm going to put this in my daisy folder. And then we have some blue and yellow. How pretty is this yellow? And this turquoise. I don't have any colored lace like this except for a coral. And I just used all of that in my coral journals. So, or peach journals. Thank you, Carrie. That, that looks pretty, pretty, pretty on top of one another. That's another pretty color combo, aqua with yellow. <laughs> this is like a yellow starburst. She knows I like yellow. I think all of y'all have figured that out too. A lot of y'all that send me things send me lots of yellow and that's great because yellow is one of the hardest colors to find in fabric and paper. Love this gingham. I don't have any yellow gingham that's tiny like this. Thank you, Carrie. We have some quadrifoil, I think it's called, like a Moroccan design. Love it. That's pretty thick too. Yellow strawberries on gingham. Is that just not so 90s looking? I love it. I feel like the 90s was gingham with fruit and flowers. <laughs> My sister's room was yellow gingham with sunflowers and blue, like blue accents. Love it. Oh my goodness, look at this, y'all. Carrie, I know that it was hard to part with this little piece. Thank you. I love this. This looks very Scandinavian, but very 60s as well. I will use every square centimeter of this. I will find a way to make it work. I think I'm going to, I can do a series of tags. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. And this is beautiful. It's very peachy. 
Oh, I have to save this for another peach color journal that I make. I have enough left over to make more peach journals, I think. Maybe next summer. I love it. And I love blue floral as well. Oh my goodness. Blue and purple too. This would actually work in my Mary Poppins journals because I have a little bit of purple in those. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to put these in the Mary Poppins pile. It's very wallpaper looking. Lovely. And last but not least, this looks like a sheet. It's very um, neutral, but very nice. I love this. I don't know what those flowers are called. I see them a lot on sheets. Very cool. Carrie, thank you so much for making me smile today. And every time I watch your channel, I smile. So you're just amazing. Please go check out Carrie's channel, The Paper Monkey. I will link it below. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Have fun creating whatever you're making. See you soon.